of recently, I haven't really touched on the issue of headquarters other than here and there, perhaps in video segments of other videos, and it's just been kind of a quick nod or mention of headquarters, and that was all. The reason being is that headquarters right now is kind of a little touchy subject and something that really is hit or miss with some people in terms of their current experience with it. So the reason being is that I was a little late to the party firstly to address some things within headquarters, and I figured the fix was on the way at that point anyway. And all that said, I also ended up in populated headquarters as of a few days ago, and it lasted for a day and a half to maybe two and a half days, and so I figured that, well, you know what? The problem being solved on my end, I can't really talk about it too much since the issue is probably gonna be on the verge of being fixed for all. Speaking as of that point in time, I was thinking, you know what? This is probably a good sign and we'll hold off on anything like that. But then we ended up getting the update or hotfix to the game in which we got COD points. And that was something that whether tied to it directly or whatever it may be, was the time and place in which we can actually probably pinpoint the catalyst of it kind of going offline again. While once again, I'm not gonna say that it is directly affected by that update and that patch or hotfix because I can't confirm nor deny it with actual evidence and proof. It is something that it marks that time in which I started to see some decrease in population once again and now currently I'm sitting in empty headquarters there again. So I won't lie, it was kind of a bummer since I was really digging the idea of building up my social rank and getting all sorts of things like free supply drops, free weapon variants, other things like that and watching drops was a great way to do that and with populated headquarters coming back the day that supply drops were buyable, there was a ton of XP to be had there. And I'll tell you straight up, just doing that and getting commended by random people going around as well really helped your social score but right now it's kind of unfortunate because you can't do that at the moment. The progression of headquarters is kind of an unfortunate one at the moment because it's gone from a populated headquarters while in pre-launch as of like the week leading up to launch where people had the early copies of the game. The population was there though lower because not everybody had the game yet but then it ended up taking to launch day where probably a day after we started to see those server issues and everything taken offline in which the entire experience went to a solo headquarters and then servers shifted from dedicated to peer to peer and then they slowly started to come back online a few days later, and then we ended up getting closer to where we are now, in which headquarters started to roll out to be populated once again, but it's right now kind of random and spotty at the point. So it's been a weird series of events, but I want to discuss with you guys why you may be alone in headquarters again. And since this is something that a lot of people may be experiencing and may be wondering why, hopefully this can provide a little bit of clarity as to it. But that said, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, I wanna talk firstly on the subject of who is really affected by this again part, because I know some people have experienced headquarters in which were populated, some people have not. So where it really comes down to, I think, is the platform that you're on. This being one of those things where being a PlayStation player, I've seen this progression that I detailed already as something that I've seen on my end, something that I can visually see and report to you guys, but having not played it really on Xbox One or PC at all since launch, I can't really speak for you guys on my own behalf, but I have seen reports of what other people have showed me. So that said, I know that Xbox in particular has had issues with the headquarters and being solo nearly the entire time. Anytime that I really tweet or mention it in videos, I don't know if I've seen mention of it working really at all yet at any point in time since that launch day whenever it got taken down, probably about the 24 hours thereafter, and thus the again part of this video might not necessarily pertain directly to you guys, but the overall encompassing information still is valid and why you haven't seen anybody in headquarters. As for PC, I think it's probably the same way as PS4. I have seen reports of people ending up having headquarters that are populated, but it's once again kind of dodgy and spotty. But as for the reasoning, it might be a lot easier to explain than you might actually believe. It's really just a simple issue of connectivity. So this kind of really stems back once again to the very beginning of these issues where we ended up having to take servers offline as well too from that dedicated server system and putting it to peer to peer. The headquarters itself was basically just too much stress on the servers and the systems themselves in place. So a lot of it comes down to the amount and the quantity of the assets put on the server and how much stress the servers themselves could hold. Thus it's being incrementally rolled out in various different 
different processes. So we talked about everything pretty much going offline right after launch, that being dedicated servers going to peer-to-peer -peer systems, and then of course the headquarters, which we're still having issues with being solo for a large majority of players. So while this is incrementally rolling out, that the servers themselves have come back up to dedicated servers. So now it really just comes down to rolling out the rest of this in which the systems in place are secure. Then we can end up putting the headquarters back online. And it feels like they've been trying to start doing this. And as for asking around on Twitter and stuff and doing some more research on Reddit, YouTube, other places, it seems like people once again are having some spotty connections to it. So whereas it's almost an incrementally rolled out thing via region, some people may have more access to it than others. I've seen very few reports of everybody as of recently saying they've had it consistently. I've had some people say that here and there they've gotten into some, but then I've seen a lot of people also saying that they've just been rolled back out to that solo headquarters. But if we take a look at the actual Sledgehammer blog that went live three days ago or so here talking about the upcoming issues being addressed and everything within World War II and what a lot of people discerned from this being that there is going to be a double XP weekend starting a couple of days ago going until this upcoming Monday. One thing that was mentioned here very briefly was the headquarters in which they did mention that they're testing it in a variety of regions and are trying to continue driving towards that goal for everybody globally having a population. But when we take a look at it once again, it being spotty in various different regions, one particular theory that does arise is that because of the amount of players taking advantage of double XP, maybe this has something to do with the headquarters population dropping down to solo once again. Because of that added stress on it, they want to make sure that the system as a regular player base is intact, so therefore, if it ends up they're working on a fix and it's not quite ready just yet and everybody has populated headquarters, if an influx of players come in, this could then ultimately hurt their testing on the headquarters and everything like that, so therefore maybe they dropped it down, but overall that's just a little hunch and theory. But when it comes down to it, once again, server side is where this ends up becoming an issue. With the amount of players connecting to one particular location and also the amount of assets and the map itself that needs to be put on that server all at once and be interactable for everybody, that's a lot of assets to put on a server and a lot of stress that we haven't really seen in any franchise underneath the Activision umbrella just yet. It's easy to say that maybe Destiny's Tower in which the original air quote idea, though only the proprietary end of Activision products is where it came from, because we know this has been a feature in many other games before, but just the design of this base and what can be transferred over from one franchise to another. While it's easy to say once again that Destiny servers had no issue with this, we have to keep in mind that the headquarters itself just by eyeing it up is probably double the size of Destiny 1's tower and with a ton more NPC content. So by adding more of that server stress, it's a level that we haven't seen in any franchise under the Activision umbrella just yet. So that said, it should be something that comes out relatively soon for all players, hopefully. And if that last theory of maybe double XP affecting it a little bit more, well then double XP is turned off this coming Monday, so maybe we start to see that once again region incremental implementation rolling out a little bit further and a little bit more so come Monday and the days following thereafter. So once again, I guess we'll see in time, but a couple of things to keep in mind is that social score is one thing that is going to be huge, so keep your eye out here for this one, and if you're going for some things like commending players or something like that, you can do that still in the pregame lobby. You don't have to be in a headquarters with anybody else. And one other thing that I also really want to mention is to save your supply drops because this was something that I was testing out a little bit on my own, seeing what was the algorithm and how much there was really to do with it. But there's a degree of randomness that is incredibly tough to work around. So that's something that might take a little bit of work. I'll have probably a video on that sometime in the near future, but for right now, it's still something that is hard to pinpoint down. But nonetheless, you'll still get social XP for watching people open supply drops, and you can get commended randomly once again by players standing around you, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to get more XP out of this and maybe help some other people around you, it's probably best to save your supply drops until they end up coming back online with a populated headquarters system. So that's what I'm doing with mine. I think I have right around 100 saved up right now so whoever gets in my headquarters well hopefully I can help you out a little bit whenever we end up dropping all those supply drops 
in the game. But that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. And a little recap once again is that it really comes down to server connection, the bulk of it, how much there really is for a server to handle all at once. It's been something that while we don't have it detailed to us or flat out said to us, we have to build up from the ground up once again. We have to make sure the servers are in place for playable games and everything like that. Then we can start adding on more stuff incrementally, such as populated headquarters and thus getting us back to the full intended version of the game. Having peer-to-peer -peer connection was of the absolute worst in the base of this model. Then re-implementing dedicated servers was a step in the right direction. Then some players got the ability to go back into populated headquarters. And right now we're a little bit dipping once again to a little bit of a regression in that, but we're going to be going back forward once again. So hopefully this gave you guys a little understanding on how things worked and how things are at the very current moment within Call of Duty World War II. And that said, if you guys have anything you guys feel like adding, feel free to let me know down there in the comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything you need to know about best class setups, tips, tricks, all sorts of other information regarding the game so if any of it interests you make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing and finally if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that's the best place to get connected with me outside of youtube i practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but all that said and out of the way hope you guys had a fantastic day thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace